Good day and thanks for taking your time to listen to our presentation. My name is Robin, a researcher at Nagoya University and a Tokyo-based company called Tier 4. And in this talk, I will present to you our new self-supervised method that uh, learns from single trajectory examples how to generate a road lane network graph for completely new road layouts without requiring any human label annotation. And first, I will explain the many aspects of automatic lane map generation that can be advantageous for conventional autonomous vehicle systems. And after that, explain our new hybrid neural and graph-based models. It's a self-supervised learning method along with experimental results. So while most conventional systems rely on human annotated HD maps for safely navigating the world, there exist several limitations in following this approach. And the first issue is large scale application. And in the case of mapping an entire region, let alone a whole country, there seems to be no firm consensus of when or how or even if such a large commercial undertaking will be done. And uh, future licensing costs are also unclear, meaning that autonomous vehicle technology will be limited to geofenced and predetermined routes in the foreseeable future, uh, limiting adoption. And another issue is system robustness. Because conventionally, when localization or map loading fails, the vehicle is rendered completely useless. And in the real world, there will be inconsistencies like road changes and uh, mapping errors that needs to be observed and handled in real time. And in some environments like open fields and uh, fast highway driving, uh, the exact localization approach might not even be the appropriate one. So for these reasons, even if a vehicle primarily relies on an HD map, it is uh, very desirable to have, an, have the ability to also operate based on the actually perceived road scene. And combining online low road lane network generation with uh, conventional maps is also improved safety, robustness and uh, usability for conventional autonomous vehicle systems by, for example, reducing deployment time to new environments, by automatic map generation, and uh, acting as a map substitute at times no offline map is at hand. And the online generated map can also be used to check the consistency of the offline map, ensuring that the map is up to date and represent the actual environment. And if any inconsistencies are found, they can be repaired and updated based on the generated map. And from here on I will talk about the proposed model and the self-supervised training method. So in the course of this work we try to give an answer to what we believe is a principal way to represent the road lane network graphs that include intersections. And the result is a formal model with mathematical proofs stipulating that the model can represent any structural road scene while retaining the notion of uh, intersection regions. And that this particular representation is the most compact representation that uh, satisfies the above. And a noteworthy proved property of the formal model is that uh, any road scene can be represented by a direct acyclic graph of at most depth three consisting of uh, entry edges, intersection edges, and exit edges. And there's also a special case called uh, point intersections, resulting from uh, branching and merging of road lanes. And uh, these intersections are represented by a depth two graph. And the formal road lane network model is implemented as a hybrid two-stage model. And the flow goes as follows. So first, uh, dense input features representing the road scene are generated from sensor data, which in this work are uh, drivable region and uh, road markings. 
And these input features are fed to a neural deep learning model, which outputs a set of dense roadland affordance maps and a multi-directional field and a road lane entry and exit points. And finally, the search space graph model uses the dense output to generate the graph. And next, I will briefly talk about the neural model implementation. So the current model consists of an encoder-decoder network with uh, task-specific output heads. And the neural model itself is explained in a previous work presented at IV2020. And the first type of output is called uh, dense affordance, uh, representing the probabilistic belief that the grid map point belongs to a road lane, uh, as well as being an uh, entry and exit point. And the second type of output is directional affordance, represented by three sets of von Mises distribution parameters. And together these three outputs form a mixture of von Mises distribution, representing the directionality for every grid map point. And this part explains how the model is trained to infer the complete solutions from uh, partial positive only examples using uh, self supervised learning. Uh, so, a training sample consists of uh, two parts. First, a road scene feature tensor consisting of a multi layered top down semantic representation of the road scene, uh, consisting of a drivable region and road markings. And secondly, the directional path taken by the vehicle, as well as the entry and exit points in the road scene view. And it is worth noting that the self-supervised methods have uh, considerable real-world advantages, as the cost and human effort of obtaining, obtaining training data can be orders of magnitude lower than uh, human annotated labels. And the dense affordance networks that predict the road lane and uh, entry and exit point affordances are trained by a novel barrier function loss formulation uh, based on uh, partial, partial positive only labels. And the underlying principle is that the model predictions should at least always correspond to known positive label elements. And this is achieved by heavily penalizing the true positive element prediction errors by a theoretically infinite loss. And the noise resistant L1 loss component gradually drives the out model output towards a default negative prediction value uh, to avoid the trivial all positive output. And note that there is an intuitive similarity between the barrier function loss resulting in a gradual output refinement and the version space algorithm in uh, symbolic machine learning that reduces an initial set of all possible hypotheses to a subset of hypotheses uh, satisfying all observed examples. And from here on I will talk about the final graph model component. And in brief terms, the search space graph model uses the dense affordance predicted by the neural model as uh, path constraints and uh, searches for valid paths from all entry points to all exit points. And the resulting paths are then unified and decomposed into a unique set of lane segments uh, constituting the road lane network graph. And as a visual demonstration of how path unification is done, uh, consider an entry point I. So the path to all reachable exit points from I are found by a search constrained by the road lane and directional affordance, which is outputted by the neural model. And from all paths within the set, the initial common path is unified into a single path. And similarly, 
the same unification process is repeated for all paths exiting at uh, a common exit point J. And repeating this process for all enter and exit points results in the desired directional graph as uh, seen on the right. And next, I will give a brief summary of the experiments and results. So the method was developed and evaluated on uh, these sets of uh, synthetic road layouts. And the training layouts themselves uh, constitute uh, basic structural components, uh, forming the, the building blocks for the test road layouts. And one very important aspect of the training method is that uh, each sample is randomly rotated and warped, meaning each and every training sample is unique. And in other words, we can say that we are sampling road layouts from a training and test distribution. And here is a visual demonstration of the output result on uh, new test road layouts. And as you can see, both new asymmetric and uh, partial observed intersections are correctly predicted. And some uh, final words. So in this work, we presented the first self-supervised method for learning our model to infer a graphical representation of the road lane network uh, based on dense input features automatically generated from onboard sensor data. And the presented hybrid model implements a formal model, which is proved to be the most compressed representation of the road lane networks, uh, while still expressing intersection regions. And experiments show that the hybrid model can uh, successfully generalize to new intersection layouts. And by doing so, establish the method as a new state of the art for automatic road lane network modeling that can be applied to entirely new road scenes and road layouts encountered for the first time. And we believe our automatic lane map generation method is a promising approach for increasing safety, robustness and uh, usability of conventional autonomous vehicle systems and hope that uh, further research in this direction will lead to a proliferation of increasingly intelligent and adaptable mobile robots. We have also re refactored the code and released it as an easy to use open repository with instructions allowing anyone to reproduce the results from scratch, as well as try out the pre-trained model on your own input. So please check it out. Again, thank you very much for taking the time to listen to our presentation. And please check out the paper for further details and feel free to contact us if you have any questions or suggestions about the word work. Thank you.